High school students are spending their first day in a brand new building, one that goes far beyond the typical learning styles many of us are used to. ABC 6 News reporter Yanni Tregellis is live in Attleboro at the school, giving us a first look inside. Hi, Yanni. Yeah, good afternoon, Noreen. Well, the first day underway here at One Blue Pride Way, and the students making their way into this brand new high school earlier today in Attleboro. And with this new school comes new opportunities for staff to teach and educate these students. And as Principal Kate Campbell tells us, it's not just about what those students learn inside of this building, it's how they learn it. It's not a traditional learning environment. This is an environment where learning occurs all day, every day. After almost seven years, class is in session at the new $260 million Attleboro High School. But the school's four-floor, state-of-the-art design takes students beyond just the classroom, giving them a chance to learn valuable life lessons they'll bring with them far beyond their high school days. You walk through this building and you see the learning, you envision it, you know what this building can mean to kids and to staff. Inside the school's walls, you'll find a newly designed gymnasium, auditorium and cafeteria, as well as a bistro that will soon be open to the public with food cooked fresh by culinary students. That's part of the high school's comprehensive learning curriculum, where in total students can pick from 18 total career and technical education paths, including cosmetology, engineering, nursing, and dentistry. You learn in your classroom and then you apply it out in the project space and how to think and how to problem solve and work collaboratively. We, we want to send people out to the world who can bring those skills and connect them to whatever. With students now fully welcome back to the classroom after two years of precautions with COVID, these learning styles usher in the new era of schooling. And Principal Kate Campbell says a part of that includes their newly designed cafeteria, where students will do more than just eat lunch, as Campbell calls it a central part of the building for learning and engagement. To see kids back to t interacting with one another and laughing and smiling and talking about real life things, that just camaraderie we've had to move away from, but we're back. The school consists of four different houses, all connected by the cafeteria, Campbell says, with each one offering a different learning experience, unique to each student. It should be a place where students and staff want to be, yep. and that's been tough for a couple of years. Yep. Another part of that comprehensive design of this new high school was advanced security as many schools across the country take precautions. And the, here at Attleboro, that includes cameras and scanners to get inside of this school on all doors. And the bistro, which will be open to the public soon, is actually not connected to any other parts of the school. It essentially is its own part inside of that building. So you cannot enter the schooling area from any points of that bistro. Reporting live in Attleboro, Yanni Trigelis, ABC 6 News.